We owe them one. And that's just something that's been sitting on everybody, you know, mind since we came back from break. You know, we owe them. You know, they came out with that attitude as they were on top of the world. And this ain't no Cinderella story, so oh, we coming for revenge. We all came here to play football. So at the end of the day, the millions of followers and fans that they then produced and got and celebrities that then jumped on their side because of who Deion Sanders is, at the end of the day, Deion Sanders ain't playing. It's those players playing. So those players better back up on what they speak about. All things sports and entertainment. So what you just heard was Colorado State sneak dissing or pretty much not even sneak dissing, dissing Coach Prime and University of Colorado. Now, Colorado had a bad week. Even really back to the first week against North Dakota State, who is uh, pretty much the best team in the uh, FCS. So, you know, yeah, they only won by five points. And then last week against Nebraska, it got bad. They couldn't stop the defense. They couldn't run the ball. I mean, Shador threw for a couple hundred yards, but it got bad. And the game was pretty much over in the first quarter. Well, now Colorado State, you know, a lot of people think that it's over. A lot of people think the fairy tale is over and that Coach Prime will be out of there by the end of the year. So Colorado State now disses Colorado because it was a heated game last week and when I mean last year it went to double over overtime. It was one of the most watched games, I believe, you know, at that at that time on ESPN. I believe it was on ESPN. So it was all the celebrities was there. The who's a who. Coach Prime's first year at Colorado. And that was really the the peak of Coach Prime at Colorado so far. Well, after that, it was bad. And Coach Prime said he was going to do better with uh, bringing the better players. And you just haven't seen it. So honestly, people now are feeling like, like Colorado was about to pretty much unravel in front of our eyes you know so it's going it's up to the players man Shador Travis y'all got to get everybody involved Shador can't you can't be pouting and walking off two minutes before the game especially when you're the quarterback and potentially a top 10 pick you know what I mean so this is a very critical game uh every team has adversity is the fact that they got all the cameras on them and everything like that so this is the price that comes with it but winning solves everything they can in theory go out there win every single game moving forward and make the playoffs you know so while last week was a big loss you know this every week is a fresh start but it has to start with the locker room man and like i said take what colorado said state said and use it as motivation people now don't think y'all a real team you know, but it's, it's up to the players. It's up to Coach Prime. And um, also Johnny Manziel as well said that Shador shouldn't have did what he did walking off and throwing his team members under the bus. And that's wild <laughs> that, that Johnny Manziel is saying that. We, now, while Johnny did win the Heisman Trophy and he beat Alabama, I think it was his sophomore year. Yeah, he upset Alabama. He ended up, you, his NFL career didn't turn out what it should have been because, you know, too busy partying and things like that. But and for Johnny Manziel to say it, you know, you know, you know, it's a bad look. You know what I mean? So, but I just want to get my quick thoughts about it again. You know, we'll we'll see. Do y'all think Colorado gonna win? Is the season over? Is this Coach Prime last year at Colorado? But let me know what y'all think.